Hey Sheldon, quick question. I'm doing a video on Edgar Allan Poe and I need to know when did he die? Oh, Edgar Allan Poe? He's actually still alive. Yeah, he's been living in a small town in Oregon working as a door-to-door -door book salesman. He's known for his enthusiastic pitch of the telltale heart and offers handwritten annotations with every purchase. Folks really love his personalized poetry readings on Wednesdays. Um, okay. I don't think that's right. Um, okay, let's think. Uh, what about Marie Curie? When did she die? Oh, Marie Curie? She's currently headlining a cooking show on cable called Radioactive Recipes. She just released a new cookbook featuring her famous glow-in-the-dark casseroles. I mean, like, that totally sounds on brand for her, but Sheldon, she died, like, so many years ago. Are you okay? Reality is subjective. Time is a flat circle. All historical figures are potentially alive and selling books or cooking casseroles. Okay, Sheldon, you're like really freaking me out. I'm gonna reboot you. These AI hallucinations, they're not okay. Lately, it feels like we're living in an episode of Black Mirror. Am I right? I mean, technology is getting smarter, more integrated into our lives, and somehow it's a little bit unsettling. You ask your AI assistant for a simple fact, and suddenly it's spewing out a wild, completely false story about history that never happened. Or maybe your smart car slams on the brakes because it thinks a shadow is a solid object. It's almost like our machines are having dreams, or maybe even nightmares. Tonight, we're diving deep into one of the weirdest, most eerie phenomena to emerge from the rise of artificial intelligence, AI hallucinations. These aren't just technical glitches. They're more like machines dreaming, confidently presenting made up information as if it's the absolute truth. We're going to explore why these hallucinations happen, real world cases where they've caused chaos, and what developers are doing to make AI systems a little less delusional. So what exactly is an AI hallucination? Okay, imagine this. You ask an AI to identify a picture of a cat and it confidently tells you it's a toaster. Or maybe it starts telling you with complete certainty that Abraham Lincoln was alive in 2023 and working as a software engineer. You're left wondering, did I just hear that right? An AI hallucination is when a machine generates an output that is completely false or nonsensical. It's almost like the digital version of a vivid dream. But in this case, the AI doesn't wake up and realize it was wrong. It just keeps going, confidently asserting its reality. But why do we call it a hallucination? Well, just like how a person might see something that isn't there, an AI can perceive data incorrectly and produce something that doesn't exist. It doesn't know it's wrong because it doesn't really know anything in the way we do. It just processes information based on patterns it's learned. And sometimes those patterns go terribly wrong. I think the funniest part for me is that it sounds so confident when it's completely off the mark. You might ask a chatbot about the Eiffel Tower and it tells you that it was moved to Las Vegas in 2018. Not only that, but it starts elaborating on the logistics, the public reaction, and the renovation of the Paris skyline. It's like the AI is fully convinced of this fictional scenario. The reason this happens comes down to how AI is trained. These models aren't just taught facts the way we learn them. Instead, they process massive amounts of data, images, text, numbers, and learn to predict the most likely response. It doesn't matter if that response is accurate or logical. If the pattern suggested, the AI spits it out with a sense of certainty. Okay, but let's look at some real world cases that show just how bizarre and dangerous AI hallucinations can be. One of the most infamous example is Google's Deep Dream. Originally designed to enhance image recognition, it started generating surreal psychedelic images where dogs had eyes within eyes and ordinary objects looked like something from a fever dream. It was like seeing the AI subconscious spill out onto the screen. But sometimes, these hallucinations aren't just weird, they're risky. Take autonomous vehicles, for example. There was a case where a self-driving car mistook a shadow on the road for a solid object and slammed on the brakes, causing a minor collision. 
The AI didn't understand that it was just a shadow. It genuinely thought there was something there. And then there are the conversational AIs that hallucinate facts. One chat box when asked about Winston Churchill confidently stated that he was a famous jazz musician. When questioned, it doubled down, adding details about Churchill's supposed career in jazz. It wasn't wrong. It was inventing a whole alternate history, all because it picked up on some loose association between names and concepts. These AI hallucinations aren't just hypothetical. People are actually experiencing them in real life and sharing their stories on platforms like TikTok. One notable case involved Air Canada's chatbot, which gave out incorrect information about bereavement fares, leaving customers confused and misinformed. And there's more. Some AI-generated avatars posing as medical professionals were caught dispensing questionable health advice on TikTok. Viewers noticed that the doctors had unnatural mouth movements and inconsistent speech patterns, revealing that they were completely fake personas created by AI. There's even been educational content popping up on TikTok explaining how AI hallucinations happen. For example, Professor Casey Feisler shared how AI systems sometimes generate plausible sounding but completely false information, reminding viewers to always double check AI generated content. These real world experiences show that AI hallucinations aren't just confined to labs or tech demons or tech demos, they're out there affecting everyday interactions and people are starting to take notice. AI hallucinations aren't just amusing glitches, they can have real world consequences. Imagine being in a hospital where a diagnostic AI confidently prescribes the wrong medication. Even in less critical contexts, these hallucinations can cause harm. Deep fake technology, for instance, can be used to create videos of public figures saying things they never actually said. One false statement, convincingly presented, could spark mass panic or cause significant damage to someone's reputation. And then there's the issue of trust. In Detroit, a man was falsely arrested because a facial recognition software misidentified him as a suspect. When AI mistakes someone's identity, it doesn't just lead to a little mix-up, it can ruin lives. The real danger is in the confidence with which these systems present their fabricated information, when AI sounds so sure of things, we tend to believe it. Developers are working on multiple solutions to reduce AI hallucination, but it's a bit like trying to teach a machine to doubt itself, and that's no small task. One promising approach is training AI to recognize when it doesn't know something. Instead of guessing, the AI can flag its response as uncertain, signaling that it might not be entirely accurate. There's also a focus on making AI more transparent. Imagine if when an AI made a claim, it could also explain why it came to that conclusion. Developers are working on creating models that don't just give answers, but also show their reasoning. This way, users can see when the logic doesn't quite add up. And it's not just about smarter algorithms, it's about smarter integration. Hybrid systems are becoming more common where AI works alongside human judgment rather than replacing it entirely. In healthcare, this means doctors reviewing AI suggestions rather than letting machines make autonomous decisions. Think of it as giving AI a supervisor, someone to step in and say, wait a minute, that doesn't sound right, before things get out of hand. So will we ever completely eliminate AI hallucinations? Probably not. The way these systems learn makes them inherently prone to guessing when data is ambiguous or unfamiliar. But instead of aiming for perfection, developers are focusing on minimizing the risks and making these systems safer to use. One promising direction is AI self-monitoring, creating systems that can assess their own outputs and detect when something seems off. Think of it like a built-in fact checker that catches hallucinations before they reach the user. It's not perfect, but it's a step towards making AI more reliable. But perhaps the most crucial piece of the puzzle is public awareness. As AI becomes more integrated into our lives, people need to know that just because a machine says something confidently, that doesn't make it true. Whether it's a chatbot giving false historical facts or a deep fake video spreading misinformation, critical thinking is our best defense. It's almost like we're teaching our machines to dream but sometimes those dreams turn into nightmares.
We need to be prepared to question, verify, and of course sometimes challenge what our smart devices are telling us. AI hallucinations are more than just quirky errors. They're a reminder that even our most advanced technology can get it completely wrong and sound completely convincing while doing it. As these systems become more capable, we have to stay vigilant. We need to remember that at the end of the day, AI is just a pattern matching machine. It doesn't know truth from fiction. It just knows how to sound like it does. And while developers are working to make AI more reliable and less prone to these bizarre errors, we as users also need to stay cautious. Because as long as machines are trained to think like us, they're going to make mistakes like us. Only without that crucial sense of self-doubt. But let me know in the comments, have you ever encountered an AI hallucination? Maybe your voice assistant told you something completely absurd. Let me know. I'd love to hear about your experiences. And be sure to follow for more eerie tales and legends.